Are you... Are you the one that's been filming me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been watching you a good long while. But then you went and robbed me of my window, so... What do you want from me? I want you to answer the door, Phil. I'm Malcolm Barnes, I'm 15 years old, and I'm S-C-K. And what is, what is that, what is S-C-K? Stone Cold Killer. Are you a killer, Malcolm? Come on now. <laughs> I'm just asking the obvious question. And I'm just giving you an obvious answer. Even if I did kill somebody, I haven't yet. <laughs> yet. Even if I did kill somebody, you think I'm dumb enough to say it on tape? Yeah, you don't seem to have a problem publicly confessing a gang affiliation. It's not a gang, it's a brotherhood. Can't get convicted off being in a brotherhood. Plus, this one put SCK on the map. You don't make me famous, right? <laughs> It's not a gang, it's a brotherhood. Can't get convicted off being in the brotherhood. Plus, this one put SEK on the map. You don't make me famous, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. But back to the original question. Are you capable of killing? again with this? You getting off over there? Huh? Well, maybe I should start charging for this. Get a 900 number? Huh? Hello? Here you are. Have you been in here all night? I couldn't sleep. <laughs> um, okay. So, making the thing and watching it 306 times in a year and a half wasn't enough. This isn't about that fucking vlog, is it? It's one vlog I'm, I'm, by a man I'm, who hates that he doesn't have your career. It's not the first time that I have been accused of exploitation. And it won't be the last. What the fuck does it matter? The Academy doesn't think you're exploitative. Sundance doesn't think you're exploitative. You do good work, Phil. You're a good man. Don't let anybody else convince you otherwise. Now stop this and get to work. You don't want to be late for your first day on set. Speaking of late, I better get moving myself. <laughs> How can you be late? You own the joint. All right. Just remember, the guy's an asshole who has shitty grammar. I mean, fuck, even I know a comma comes before conjunction, and English is my second language. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. But back to the original question. Are you capable of killing? Guess we'll find out.
doesn't currently have extradition agreements with either territory. Hong Kong's pro-democracy movement can be traced to the 1980s, when more than 1,000 protesters demanded direct elections beginning in 1988. But by 1991, they had secured 18 directly elected seats in the legislature. That was only the beginning. Now, they take to the streets again, fighting for their rights. What I say? Kwame, please calm down. Bitch, don't tell me to calm down. I'll calm down when you tell me what the fuck I said. What the fuck did I say? What the fuck did I say? Don't think because there's cameras around that you got some kind of authority. What's going on? The only on? thing these cameras is good for is you already know. You're about to get. Do you really think Peter fucking Khan was gonna let a little humanity get between him and a narrative gold mine? I'll let you run up here and flip the fucking script. Kwame. I'll run this show. Huh? Me. You hear me? I'm running the show here. Me. All right? I set the rules. You gonna come up here and try to break the biggest fucking one? Are you fucking kidding you me right this? now? What the you fuck know is wrong it. with you? Go ahead. Tell me what I said. Day what one. The fuck I told you. Speak up, nigga. Hey. Don't tell me to call him the fuck. Hey. Oh, oh shit. <sighs> you lucky it was you, cause I was about to lay your ass out. What's the problem? Your boy over here got memory problems. I was about to bust him in his head. Go ahead, help him with that. What did he forget? I told y'all from the jump, y'all can't be fucking with my moms. Period. I was real clear about that shit, Phil. Yes, you were. Yeah, you were. And I'm sure it'll stick this time, won't it, Pete? Why don't you go check out the sites for a minute? Fuck. I'm sorry, dude. This is a real fucked up way to start this whole thing out. Yeah, true talk. But Kwame, this is our job. Right now, our lives are dedicated to telling your story. And, and that, what, what's happening to her right now, it's happening to you too, man. It's, it's an important part of your story, maybe the most important part. So really, you can't blame a guy for just, you know, just trying to do his job the best way he knows how. He meant no disrespect. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. Y'all still ain't coming in my mom's though. And if I gotta tell your boy one more time, I'm gonna fuck him all the way up. All right, let's go. So, this right here, this is the debt of inequity right here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, uh, you know, this is my, me, me and my boys, we be chilling, watching the game, entertaining the ladies. This monster right here, I got this for my mom's 45th birthday. Uh, but, you know, she actually doesn't come out here that much anymore, so. Um, oh, well, just gonna have to get him one to put in the room for her 50th. Um, for Christmas, actually. Um, y'all wanna meet my boys? You wanna do that? Can we, can we meet my boys? They're right outside. We could do that. They've been dying to meet y'all. Yeah. Yeah, can yeah, we let's, just, cool. let's, let's do that. Yeah. Yo, so these niggas right here, closest thing I got to fucking brothers right here, man. You know what I'm saying? We fight like brothers too, man. Hold up, buddy. Hold up. I, I didn't stretch this morning. Why you? Why you acting brawly because the camera's on, bro? Why you acting brawly because the camera's on? No, I love these niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? But they can't see me on the court. They both. <laughs> we can go to the court right now. You want to see his ball? Phil. Phil. You want to see his ball? Depends. We betting on who's winning? I mean, if you betting on me, I cook you too. I cook him too. Oh, that's a mean parking right there, brother. You like that? Yeah. Nice. 
all about spatial perception. Well, shit, you need perception <laughs> like a motherfucker then. <laughs> no refund. But once they're printed, they're yours. I said this ain't what I asked for, nigga. Don't call me nigga. Well, I got to pay because you got hearing problems. I said Powerball. I ain't paying for this shit. I'm going to call the cops. Motherfucker, what? I meant... Uh, how much are the tickets? This nigga trying to... Don't call me nigga! This motherfucker trying to get me to pay $10 for some shit I ain't even asked for. This is Mega Ball. Smaller jackpot. Hey, I'll take him. For real? Yeah, sure. Why not? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You want me to get my tickets from up the street from now on, because niggas up in here is crooked as hell. I said don't call me nigga! Whatever, nigga! Having customers leave feeling cheated. Not a good way to do business, friend. I run a liquor store in Harlem. You don't gotta worry about my business, friend. You want something else? When you win, don't forget about me. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh thanks, brother. <laughs> Damn, white people crazy. I don't know why you got rid of the old one. It worked fine. If you, out of all people, cannot appreciate that that old ass thing didn't belong in this carefully curated space, then you need to find a new line of work. <gasps> the happy land! La, 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 la. Pero tú no has cambiado ni un poco. Ah. Oh, pero esta, al contrario. Ana, última vez que yo la vi ni me ni llegaba. Ni te llegaba tus tetitas. Um, you're joking, right? No, pero sí, cuando yo la conocí eran chiquititas. Pero tía, yo tenía 12 años. A los 12 años yo tenía dos melones maduros. Tienes melones pasados de maduros. Ay. Espérate, pero ¿qué ustedes están haciendo aquí? Yo pensaba que se mudaron para Pensilvania. Así es, pero esta tiene una entrevista laboral. Oh. No, it's just an internship, mommy, and they probably already know who they want to hire. Ay, no seas tan negativa. Por lo menos es una excusa para comprarte un vestido nuevo, ¿verdad? Ana, seguramente que aquí vas a encontrar algo. Ay, mira esta, qué bonita. Seguramente que todas van a ir vestida con una blusa blanca aburrida, pero si tú te apareces con una falda lápiz y esto se acordarán de ti. Yeah, I, I do like it. Pruébatela. Uh. <laughs> Pero cómo ha cambiado del mojoncito que era. Ya ve. <laughs> es el aire fresco de Pensilvania. Y las 150 millas que puse entre ella y el cabrón pedófilo asqueroso que la estaba enamorando a los 10 años. Mentira. Sí. Pues me alegro por ti. Ay, yo me alegro por ella. Tomó unos años, pero al fin recapacitó. Sí. ¡Ah! ¡Look at you! You're gonna knock their socks off. No le pongas atención a eso. A ti te toca el descuento familiar. ¿Pero cuánto cuesta? No, en serio. Ese precio no es para ustedes. No seas tonta. Quizás un cinturón. ¿Tía? No. ¿Pilar? No, nosotros no necesitamos caridad. Oye, eh, miremos los cinturones. Esos no es que sean mucho más baratos. Incluso los cinturones flacos. Esos son de cuero español. Ay, a la mierda con los españoles. Como si no nos hubieran jodido lo suficiente. Y eso de cuentas, voy a mirarlo. Que... Oye, ¿qué pasó? Eh. Hay algunas cosas que le podría enseñar. Tienen 60% de descuento. Tell her the truth. You're gonna tell her that I gave it to you as a gift. And we both agreed not to tell her anything because we knew she would make a return. You got it. I'll go get that internship. Se 
60% de descuento. No puedo repetir. ¿Qué me perdí? Ragtime right in the house. Awesome. How'd it go? Well, nobody quit and nobody got shot, so success. Was it weird for you being back in Harlem? Yeah. Yeah. It's deja vu all over again. Kind of depressing, actually. Nothing has changed. Did you really think it would? I mean, it hasn't even been two years since you were there last. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. I mean, Malcolm, his death, it, I mean, it was huge to me. I mean, it's changed my life, but it doesn't seem to have had any ripples in his own community. Not that you can see from your car window anyway. I, I, I saw these kids standing out in a corner. Like they always do. And I thought, I wondered if they had even seen the film. Phil. No, I'm serious. I wondered if, if, if they even knew about Malcolm at all, or, or if he was just some tiny speck in a massive mosaic of violence. I just, I don't know if what I do, I, I don't know if it makes a difference. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I can hear you saying stuff, but all I can hear is blog. Okay. Blog, 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 blog. Blog? It's not. Blog? This isn't about the blog. It's not just about the blog. The blog's a catalyst, maybe. All right, fine. Fine. Let's say, let's say that I have the potential to really make a difference. I, I don't know that my reach is... I don't know that I'm reaching the right people, you know? I'm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking of hiring a publicist. A maid or a cook, probably. Uh, an assistant, definitely. A publicist, he says. Hmm. I've been thinking long and hard about this. Yeah, I know you have. You think I'm ridiculous? Just a little around the edges. Quick, what movie is that from? Uh, I don't know. It could be any movie. Babe, all about Eve. I mean, really, it's only like the best movie ever made. Well, a movie that you haven't made, of course. You know what I think we should do? What? I think we should crack this baby open, mix up a little something, and celebrate a casualty-free first day of filming of your new project. Sounds good. All right, Malcolm. So, tell me, what are you hoping to gain by joining the ranks of FTK? I just like the fact that knowing that there's people out there who got your back no matter what. And what about your family? Don't they have your back? Yeah, they got my back, I Way back. What do you mean? Man, you know what the hell I mean. You know, my mom's at work all the time. I don't got no brothers and sisters. And your father? Mm -hmm. He ain't nothing. He ain't nobody. He don't even live with us. Do you know who he is? Yeah, I know who he is. It's in a Marty show. I just mean he ain't mean nothing to me. He ain't mean nothing to nobody. Ain't gotta be the same way for me though. You know, I got the chance to be something. And you don't see that chance anywhere else? Not at school? <laughs> I ain't even going back. I mean, shit, have you seen my school? Ten years though. Oh yeah, how so? The fame, man. The thrill. The respect. You honestly think that joining a gang is brotherhood? Sorry, brotherhood. You think that joining a brotherhood is the only way that you can achieve all that? <laughs> this is real funny coming from you. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, you don't want the same things I want. I mean, look at what you do. Well, yeah, but I went to school for this. I studied for years. Yeah, but like, that's what makes it so funny, though. 
Like you took the long way around, you know, took the high road. And look at you, you ain't nobody without me. You couldn't do none of what you do if it wasn't for all the me's in the world. Uh, yeah, but I probably won't be dead in 10 years. Yep. I plan on living a long life. Bye. <laughs> No, it's okay. Don't bother cleaning up. I will get it all myself. I will get dinner. I'll clean. Sorry, I was... In a hurry to get back to flagellating yourself. Yeah, I know. You know what? I'm not gonna do this anymore. It's so stupid. I mean, I know plenty of other artists who don't even bother to to read any of their press for this very reason. Maybe I should adopt that rule. I mean, after a certain point, it doesn't even matter anyway, right? Yes, please. And thank you for taking the one thing I've been telling you all along and phrasing it as if you've had some sort of revelation all of a sudden, you know, personally, without any prompt from anyone. Okay. Look, I would have taken your word sooner, but you know, you're, you're biased because, you know, you've had sex with me. Um, I haven't actually in a while. Hmm. Oh, so are, are you? Wait, was that my cue to, um. Fuck the fuck out of me. get to sleep and that fucking thing goes off. Oh. Yeah, babe, gotta run. I'm just starting coffee. I'll pick them up at the station. You want me to give you a ride just in case? No thanks, fruit of the loom. Just in case what? Well, we have a stalker apparently. Or more of a run-of-the-mill peeping pervert, more likely. Babe, I would feel more comfortable if you let me give you a ride. And I would feel like a fat ass if I let you give me a ride. Walking to the station is the only exercise I've gotten since opening the boutique. Hey, a little more ass couldn't hurt. You're shooting in bedside today, right? I called Tony and Pete, told them what happened. They're gonna cover for me for a little while. I, I just don't want to stay available in case the police need to follow up or anything, you know? Okay. Babe, I really do think this is more of a one-time thing. Don't go getting all weird and paranoid on me. Yeah. See you later. Okay. Text me when you get there. Aw, look at you. So cute and bossy and protective. Whatever, people are fucked up. Yes, dear. Bye, dear. Bye. Hello? Hello? Hey, listen, asshole. Hello? This one looks good. She's pursuing her MFA in film. Where? Uh, 
Columbia. Next. You are terrible. If I can't find any fellow Tishers, I'm not going to go straight for the enemy. How about this one says he's a native Manhattanite? Hold on, wait, wait. Did he actually put that? Manhattanite? Is that what he said? I mean, not New Yorker? Private school educated. Hmm. With a silver spoon so far up his ass, it tickled mine. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Uh, oh, recent Tish grad. Hmm? Uh, says he's more interested in learning about the business of filmmaking without having to sacrifice his ability to eat. Hmm. That's pretty funny, right? It's in all caps. And? It's like he's yelling at me. Digitally. It's, it's a form of aggression. We got 78 responses in 11 hours. I need to find reasons to eliminate, not to include. Yes, Master. Would you also like me to ignore all the ones in lowercase? Is that... Like an e-whisper to Meek. That's very cute. Next, please. <sighs> okay, this is the one right here. Originally from California, studied cinematic arts at USC. So, and then left to New York City because he was turned off by the slickness of Hollywood. Says the clincher was watching a documentary on homelessness his senior year. Wait, do you, th you think he means my piece? But the math adds up, I mean... The begging class came out around his senior year, it looks like. I knew that I would never be able to produce anything anywhere near as real or compelling as that in Los Angeles. Huh. Marley Reed. And you were worried about not making an impact? Let's find out if Marley has any plans tomorrow afternoon. Phil Waterhouse? Marley? Oh my god. I I cannot tell you what a pleasure it is to, to finally meet you. Yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> no, nice to... You too. You too. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I guess I just... I guess I just had a feeling about it. To be honest, I was really kind of hoping that it was supposed to be at. <laughs> well, that makes one of us. Hmm? No, I mean... You. I, I wasn't expecting you. Oh. I didn't think you'd be quite so girl-like. Yeah. I, <laughs> I get that all the time. I guess it's one of the hazards of a unisex name. <laughs> I guess, yeah. But uh, if you don't have any more, you know, is it all right if we just, like, talk now? Of course. So, um... I'm a huge fan. And I'm not just saying that to get you to hire me. Of course not. No. You can quiz me. I've seen all of your films. Even the shorts. I've even... I've even seen your thesis. Come on, you've seen my thesis? Mm-hmm. What'd you think? <laughs> it was a little predictable in the material and in the message, but even then you could totally see the potential. And here you are, like, living up to it, exceeding it, even. I mean, getting people to uproot their lives in search of their better selves. You know, like, wow. I, I honestly, I can't even believe I'm sitting in front of you right now. Stop. No, seriously. Can I ask you about your new project? The, um, the one with HBO, is that OK? Can you talk about it? Yeah, sure. Um... Well, it's, uh, it's a series about urban youth. We're calling it Hoods, and it's going to follow the lives of four different kids. Nice. Yeah. So uh, tell me about the, the subjects, I mean, the kids. There's one guy, totally ruthless, Kwame. He's kind of a bully, uh, like recreational hate, you know? And Dr. Brenner, she thinks Who, that... Dr. Brenner? Sorry, sorry. She's our consultant. Or psychologist. Oh, cool, got yeah. it. Yeah. So, Dr. Brenner thinks he's only acting out because his mom. Yeah? Because his mom is dying of cancer. Fuck. Really? Well, make an awesome story, though, right? I mean, the lion with the thorn in his paw. So, who else? Well, there's Derek, who's the drug dealing basketball star. Classic. Right? And Fernando. Fernando 
He has been sleeping around since he lost his virginity at the age of 12. But now he's a, a devoted father. Reform man whore, perfect. And what would a show about urban youth be without a rapper? That's Omar. Dr. Brenner thinks he might be in the closet. Yeah, so. And that's that. Hmm. So no girls? No. No girls. Huh. There's a second season right there. Hmm? Huh. God, I'd give my left breast to work on a show like that. You would? Well, the left one's smaller, so. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Can I get you folks anything else? <laughs> It smells so good. Mm. 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 Phil? Mm. Hey! Hey, honey, look who's come to make dinner. Marley Reed. Marley, my girlfriend Jess. It is so nice to meet you. Mm. She's the one that you have to thank for your new job. Oh, cool. Isn't it, though? <laughs> What's that you're making? In our kitchen. She just made sofrito from scratch. How amazing is that? But it's Puerto Rican. Uh... <laughs> she's, she's not, she's not Hispanic. Ah, uh, no, it's Latina. Oh, no, I wish, but I totally must have been in a former life. Like, I have always felt so drawn to those cultures, especially like the food and the mm. spices. So, I don't know, I just learned a few recipes. <laughs> well, enjoy that. I will be in the den with my curry. Oh. Yeah, I must have been in the More? Hey. Hey. What was that? What was what? That was hands down the most convincing impersonation of an icicle that I have ever seen. Well, I didn't want to melt from all the heat in the kitchen. Heat? Well, please don't tell me that you didn't notice that she's hot. Don't add insult to injury. What injury? You're the one who picked her out of all those candidates. Which you couldn't help but to bring up very quickly in her presence. Nice preemptive strike there. She has everything that we were looking for. Experience, education, passion. Oh, a lot of it, I'm sure. The only thing she's missing is a Y fucking chromosome. Okay, y you can't possibly be this insecure. Not after three years. Three and a half. And you know what? I couldn't help but notice that you introduced me specifically as your girlfriend. I did that for you, so, so, so that you would feel more, I don't know, at ease. So that you wouldn't think that I was just trying to pass you off as, as, as a friend or a housekeeper or something. A housekeeper? It's just an example. Oh, you know what I mean. God! You see, this is what you do. You are the king of manipulating situations to make yourself look like the good guy. What the fuck? Yeah, this. This is why you rewind that tape of your life a million fucking times, Philip. Yeah, looking for like the tiniest hint or, or speck to prove that you are an asshole. And you're not gonna find it. Do you know why you're not gonna find it? Because you have edited it all out. I'm going to bed. Congratulations on your shiny new assistant. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. You guys want to meet my, my boys? They've been dying to meet y'all. Guys, this is Marley. She's going to be working with I... us. Marley's Pete, Jake, and... 
And Tony. Tony. Hi. Hey, Marley. Nice Marley. I'm excited. I'm glad you could jump in. Yeah, but everything I've seen so far looks great. Yeah, we're excited to have you. Yeah. Yes, yes, we're gonna hit the deadline, Louise. We're fucking forward. close. Okay. All right. Bye. <laughs> Ciao. from a Kevin Hartso from the Association for the Defense of Juvenile Offenders. He wants to know if you're available to appear on a panel on the 24th of next month. Am I? Um, yes. Yeah, then, uh, yeah, confirm. I like Kevin. He's a good dude. Cool. Uh, also, Luis needs to reschedule the check-in for Tuesday at 10 a.m. But I went ahead and put it in your calendar anyway because we're shooting with Fernando then. So I think Tony and Pete can totally handle that without too much trouble. Okay. I mean... Mm -hmm. Unless the baby decides to join the gang. Oof. But too soon? Yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, also, I know you're making a conscious effort not to follow your own press, but I came across some stuff that I think, I know, I know, and I don't want to dredge up any ghosts, but there have been some interviews with the mother Seriously? of that Seriously? Uh-oh. What? What the fuck? We don't know. He just, he refuses to answer the door. But he's in there? As far as we know. Yeah? Kwame! Hey, Kwame, it's Phil. What's going on, bro? Phil? Yeah, it's me. Uh, you feeling all right, man? I, I'm gonna let you in, all right, but I'd, I'd, uh, just you. I don't want the cameras or nothing. Yeah, no cameras, no problem. Just give me a sec. You look like hell, man. What happened? just came in and she was already like that. I wasn't even in the room when it happened. I wasn't even in the room. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I mean, I literally, I don't know what to do. I never had to deal with no shit like this before. Tell the crew to pack it up. Out of respect. We have enough to deal with. You don't need a camera in your face right now. Okay. What else do you need? More time. I just I thought I had more time. I like I knew she was I knew she was bad. That I could like brace myself for that, but 
her medical costs were like mad expensive and like basic funeral costs are like seven fucking g's like you know how many fucking niggas i'm gonna have to call you know how many kneecaps i'm gonna have to bust to get that kind of money i can't even do that for her she did all this shit for me You are a strong, resourceful person and a loyal, dutiful son. She knew that. She died. She died knowing that. You have to know that that, that brought her comfort. You know that, right? You, you might not have been physically in the room, but I can tell you right now, man, you were there. You were there. Is he gonna be okay? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be fine. I mean, like, for all his tough appearances, he's still just a kid, right? I'm older than he is, and I have no idea what I would do if my mom died right now. Like, of course, I still have a dad, though. Wait. He has a dad, right? Does he have a dad? Yeah. Yeah, of course he has a dad. He's just not in the picture. Wow. So what do we do now? Wow. So did you know there are like 14 funeral homes just in Harlem? <laughs> Let's get good business. Funeral homes and liquor stores. <laughs> you okay? Kind of like it was your mom who just died. Yeah. Yeah, I just... I can't help wondering what would have happened if we hadn't been there, you know? Okay. And I, I don't mean that in like a... In like a self-aggrandizing, aren't we so great for helping out kind of way. I mean, what if, what if he hadn't gotten money from this whole deal? Or, I don't know. How would he have dealt with all this? How do people in his situation afford... <clears throat> it's like they, they can't even afford to die with dignity, you know? Society doesn't give them much of a chance. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I, uh... Um... You're just so... <clears throat> you're just so good. You know? I'm sorry. That was... That was stupid. No. No. It's... It's okay. Yeah?
want to show you something. Mm. No, no, no. Okay. No, <laughs> no it's something I've. It's uh, something I've never shown anyone else. Wow. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, um, this, this is, this is from The Price of Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. uh, it's footage that I, I shot one day when it was just me and the kid, Malcolm. Um, it's footage that never made it into the picture for reasons I think, I think you'll understand. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just, uh, <laughs> nervous. Hey, it's okay. I'm honestly just flattered that you want to show it to me. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, I think you do. I hope you do. <laughs> Come on. Hey, no, dude. Why not? No. Why so not? It's not going to happen. It's just not... let me hold the camera. No, please. it's not. Do the subject, all right? Come on, man. It's not like I'm going to break it. Yeah, it's not the camera I'm worried about you breaking. It's the rules of documentary. Come on, man. It's just us. We're just playing. I ain't asking you to put what I record in the movie. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet? I, I'm saying, what if what I record is the hottest shit anybody ever seen? I doubt that. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You don't think I got good ideas when it comes to movies? No, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. Why? Because I do. I got good ideas. I'm sure you do. That's not what I meant. All right? I'm just saying you'd be you'd be shooting me. Shooting you? Yeah, filming me, recording me. You know, I don't think I'd make a particularly hot subject. Why not? All right. What are you talking about? All right. Let's go. Got it. All right. Just for a couple of minutes, though, okay? Pretty simple, you just aim and shoot. Aim and shoot? This ain't nothing, I could do this. <laughs> How'd that feel? <laughs> you don't like that shit, do you? <laughs> you don't like being on the other side. All right, you're gonna be like this. <laughs> I'm gonna take it back. I'm just messing with you. I, right, I'm good. I'm serious, I'm good now. So, how did you get into the business of making movies? Well, uh, I've always been a big fan of film. I mean, all kinds, right? Like, I could watch, I could watch any genre movie and love it. I mean, horror, comedy, mystery, whatever. But the ones that really appealed to me were documentaries. How come? Because, um, because I like the idea that art was just happening, you know? Like, all around, just unfolding. And I wanted to be where the art was unfolding. I wanted to catch it, preserve it, so that I can share it with other people and they can be moved by it, like the way I am. So, you see me as art? Yeah, I do. That's cool. I think so. Could you teach me? Teach you what? How to see art. Yeah, I don't... I don't think it's something you can Cause teach. Because, like, right now, right? I think I can see what you see. I, I think I can see art, even in you, you know? But I don't know for sure because I ain't no expert. But you an expert, so you could teach me. And that's my idea for the movie. 
Your idea? Yeah. We can make the rest of the movie about you teaching me how to make movies. Come on, that shit is hot. Um. Come on, man, think about it. You start off making a movie about a kid who want to join a gang. Brotherhood. Right. But you end up saving me from a life of crime with your art and shit. So then your movie will become more than just a movie, man. It'll become like a... Like, like a message, right? A message for people to help other people. Man, you look like a hero. And I, I, I get to live past 25. Malcolm, I, I, I'm afraid it doesn't work like that. Why not? Well, for starters, I already told you. I mean, I went to school for this. What school you go to? NYU. A word? Man, that's right here in the city. What kind of stuff they teach you? All kinds of stuff. Technical stuff. Uh, 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 a lot of jargon, angles, cuts, editing. Uh, it took seven years and like 20 professors. Man, I could do that. It's expensive. They got scholarships, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, let's say you go, you go back to school, all right? What do you offer as a candidate? What are your grades like? What, what kind of extracurriculars are you involved in? I mean, ones that don't involve guns and graffiti. Hey man, I ain't got no gun. Sure, okay, but your brothers do, right? What are they gonna say when, when you tell them that you're leaving the brotherhood to go make art? Right. Sorry, no. No, no, it's, it's cool. It's just an idea. Wow. That was terrible. It was terrible. It was? Jesus, I mean, yeah. That must have been so hard for you for me yep i mean what a mind fuck right like having someone look at you like you're the solution to all their problems like really complex problems that were clearly there long before you <sighs> i mean what did he want you to do he must have felt so pressured poor baby you, you don't think you don't think i was too hard on him god no you had a job to do. You were there to capture a very particular kind of reality and he was just like trying to switch it all up on you at the last minute. I would have done the same thing. You would have? I would have done a whole lot more than that if it meant I got to go to Sundance, you know? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have actually like shot the kid myself or anything. Right. He wasn't shot. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to tell because you never know. Yeah, well, I I dropped the camera when I realized that. Uh... Oh, wow. Oh, God, that must have been so hard for you. Could we watch it? I don't know. I just, I feel like I could get a whole new perspective on it now with that in mind. You, you want to watch Malcolm get beat to death? Is that horrible? 
Which that's not for me to say. Hmm? That's not a question you have to ask the guy that filmed it in the first place, right? Hey, if you don't want to, it's okay. Maybe we could um, just get back to what we were doing before. Um, no, sorry, sorry, Marley. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not feeling so hot all of a sudden. <clears throat> Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, don't. I, <clears throat> I, I had a headache. I, I should have said something earlier. Oh. I could give you a rub. His hands like miracles, so I've been told. You know, actually, I think, I think <laughs> it would be better if you just, if, if you left. Oh. Like, for good. Oh. Okay. Sorry, it's nothing personal. I, I, I just, um... No, I get it. No, I just, I, I just, there's been a lot of tension, and as much as I would love to, I, I don't think this is appropriate. It's not I professional. I said I get it. I'll write you a reference. Hey, baby. Hey. What are you doing? Making dinner. Making dinner? Where's Marley? Updating her resume. You, you fired her? Yep. Why? I thought she was so perfect. You know, with all her experience and all her passion and sofrito. What made you change your mind? You. Seriously? Yeah. You were a whole other person when she was around. A horrible, frightening, frigid person. It was like trying to live inside a refrigerator the past few weeks. I was pretty miserable. Yeah. So, now what I fix it with spaghetti. Well, it's the only blade you know how to make. Hey, what I lack in the kitchen, I make up for in other rooms. Yeah, well, you have a lot of making up to do. Fucking bodega coffee, man. That's kept secret. Yeah, too bad we're fetching it for ourselves. So are you ever gonna replace Marley or what? Yeah, mid-production is not the time to be concerned with staffing, Pete. All right. And since when did you become such a diva fetching coffee? It's not about the coffee, okay? I've been getting some pretty aggressive calls from reporters, reporters who can't seem to get through to yeah, you. I know about the reporters, Pete, all right? I'll handle them when I'm not in the thick of this. Fetching coffee. Thank you. Have a great day. Just Rebus? Yep, that's me. This for you? Where's it from? Don't know. Some lady gave me 10 bucks and told me to bring it in here. Okay. She's gonna look crazy if that's what you're wondering. Thanks. I'm just saying. Home. What, what are you doing down here? 
Did you have dinner already? I was watching a movie. Okay. It was riveting. Totally compelling. I feel really compelled right now. I laughed. I cried. Here, let me show you the best part. Shit. Okay. Shit, look, Jess, I-, I You can explain? It's not- It's what, not what it looks like? She- Meant nothing to you. You can do better than that. No, she- she did mean something. No, 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 I mean, hold on, hold on, Jess, 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 please. Please, listen to me. I- I thought she meant something, okay? She was- it, she just said what I needed to hear in that moment, but- Oh, that thing must have been really difficult to do with your tongue in her mouth. But it was not what I needed. Okay? That's why you fired her, isn't it? Because filling her hole didn't fill your hole, did it? No, I just, I didn't... Okay, all right, look, I know that you're hurt, but... No, you don't know shit! You don't know shit! You don't know shit! Phil, okay, you never know! Jess, please, please just listen to me. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, okay? I, I, I only kissed her because... No, no, fuck why you kissed her, Phil! And honestly, I don't really think you know either. Did it ever occur to you that this is something that might destroy our relationship? Please. Did listen. that ever occur to you, Phil? Please, I know that I made a mistake. Okay? I know I fucked up. Can, can, can... But it is exactly what I needed in order to let me know that what I have with you... You have is... eviscerated everything you had with me. You're not even answering my question. Wait, wait, please, please, just... Just hear me out. Please hear me out, okay? After I did it. What about I... while you did it? Did you think about me at all then? Did it ever occur to you that this is something that might have some consequences? Did it ever occur to you that it was something that might break my heart? Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm gonna come back for the rest of my shit when I'm feeling a little less homicidal. No, 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 I never said two weeks. I ne- No, I never said two weeks because that would be unrealistic. Believe me, Luis, I'm not exactly sitting over here with my thumb up my ass, okay? I, I have a very important personal matter to take care of. I'm allowed to have a personal life, right? Yeah, of course I do. I, look, it's my reputation, all right? And believe me, I will call whoever you need me to call and, and make whatever statement you need me to make and cover whatever asses you need me to cover while I'm at it. But right now, I just need a day. Yeah. Trust me, it's fine, okay? We're fine, everything is fine, all right? I'll call you. Yeah, bye. Greg Starr calling from Variety to congratulate you on your big win and to ask you a few questions about how you got it. Thanks. Mr. Waterhouse, I'm wondering if you'd like to comment on recent allegations regarding the death of Malcolm Barnes. This is Colin Jaffe calling from Document This, 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 Amber Gray from the Star calling about the prime. Please give me a call back so we can schedule. Jake Smith from Premier. I'd like to speak with you. Get a line or two about the recent controversy. Hello? 
Hello? A black woman can get any kind of attention these days is to be Oprah. I've been trying so hard to get your attention ever since you won that damn award, fellas. It's not been easy, let me tell you. I was hoping that if I got you thinking about me, you know, you take some initiative and come seek me out. I mean, I talk to any reporter who listens. Who is this? Oh, fella. You don't remember my voice? I know it's been a long time since each... Well... No, not really. I've been seeing plenty of you lately. It's me, Leslie Barnes. I'm sure you remember me. You murdered my son. What? No. No, no, no. Oh, no. now, listen to you. No need to jump on the defense, Phil. I meant that in the most harmless way possible. You're a harmless man, after all. Just a harmless little filmmaker. Are you... Are you the one that's been filming me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been watching you. Rob me of my windows, so. What do you want from me? I want you to answer the door, Phil. trouble just to shoot you now do you how would that look what kind of fucked up headline would that make woman devastated by gang related death of son shoots man who caught it on film phil you're not gonna invite me in Whew. in the future you might want to shower for company Nice, this is nice. Yes, this is nice. Did you buy before or after? After. Was it worth it? Why don't you have a seat, Mrs. Barnes? Miss, I never married, but you knew that already. Why don't you have a seat? Why don't you answer my question? Because I, I don't think it's a fair question. Okay, well then what kind of question would you like to answer? How about, how about I ask you? How about you kiss my ass? I don't owe you answers. You owe me. I'll do respect, Miss Barnes. I am very, very sorry about Malcolm. No, 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 it's always I'm tragic when a young person loses. You were sorry. It wouldn't have taken you two years and me coming to your door for you to say it. I, I don't you think you can tell me how I feel. Sorry. You must really think I'm a horrible person. You must think you're a horrible person. Then why else would you let me in? I pretty much ruined your life. I thought I could try to reason with you face to face. Uh, reason with but me. I'm starting because to like think I'm that so that unreasonable. Idea. Us You're people are just so impossible to reason Stop with. Stop putting words in my mouth. You gonna stand there and watch it over me like that while you ask it? Why are... 
What is it exactly that you think I did wrong? You kidding, right? No. No, no. I, I, I want to know, what, what did I do, really? to identify my son's body with the palms of his hands, his face, and something else, lumps everywhere. It's like mountains coming out of his skin. Deepest shades of purple, red, and blue you can imagine. Even some green. Colors ain't got no business being on a human face. His eyes were swole shut. It was like somebody had stitched him up. His upper lip was busted dead in half. His right ear was crusted with blood from where one of the bastards tried to kick his brains right out of there. They tried to kick his brains right out of his head, stomped him into a bloody, unrecognizable pulp. And you, you watched it happen. You filmed the whole thing. And you sitting here asking me what you did wrong. Called 911. Oh, when, when? When did you call 911, Phil? Did, did you call him before after they tried to kick my baby's teeth out of his head? Did you call him before after they busted his skull wide open? When did you call him? Tell me about it. I want to know about that day. Tell me everything. I want to know what happened. You owe me that at least. Miss Barnes. Call me Leslie. We becoming friends, ain't we? Leslie, I, 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 I don't, I don't really Was he know. conscious when you went over there? You saw the film? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. It took me almost a year to see it. Right. And I saw it. Was he conscious? say anything I don't th I don't think did he say anything yes what what did he say I couldn't he, he was incoherent I couldn't stop make it lying, out stop lying stop lying start from the beginning tell me what happened No. Excuse me? What is this going to solve? I'm sure you're aware it isn't going to bring Malcolm back. This, this, this isn't healthy what we're doing. What exactly is it you think we're doing? We're, we're trying to make sense out of something senseless. We're trying to reconcile the irreconcilable. See, that's interesting. You being kind of vague, ain't you? White folks love to be vague. All abstract and shit. 
See, what I'm trying to understand, I'm trying to understand how you stood by and watched my son get murdered, and then you got patted on the back, and you got rewarded for it, and then, and then, then got told what a brave man you are after you did it. Please, please, Phil, tell me, tell me that you are as confused as I am. If you can say that, if you can admit just that, I might leave you alone. I am. What did you say? I am. Confused, I am. I, I don't know how things got to happen the way things happened. Now we getting somewhere. I've been now we getting somewhere. I've been replaying it all. Mm -hmm. in, in, in my head on the screen, trying to figure it out. Trying, trying to see if there was anything that, that I could have done differently. And you know what? I don't think there is anything that I could have done differently. What? Miss Barnes, Leslie, I... What? Your son was going to do what he did, whether I was there or not. He was going to try to join mm. that gang. And the consequences would have been just as disastrous whether I was there or not. I was doing my job. I was there to record his life as he was living it. And I just happened to catch the end of it. No, 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 yes. no, no, he no, no, no. You are decision. not, no, 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 no. You are not gonna weasel your way out of this. You're I'm not, not gonna weasel not. your way out of this. I'm not. not today, not today. Not, 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 not while I'm standing here in your face. You being here does not make me responsible any more than my being there made no, me responsible. you can't do this. You cannot do this. You I, can't deny this. I'm not, I'm not. What about the talk you had? What about the talk you had? The one where you told him that he couldn't make movies? He told me all about it. About how you put a camera in his hand, told him he was a piece of art. You blew him up like a balloon just to stick a pin in him. You ever think about that, Phil? Like why you never wanted that footage to see the light of day? Why you kept it at all? it out of the film precisely because there are there are people who who, who don't understand don't the nature folks, of documentary don't filmmaking don't regular folks who, like me who might interpret it in a, in a way that in a way that, that would make you look like the monster you really are let me ask you a question here we go if you were a doctor and you had a patient who needed surgery in order to live but but whose religion let's say, specifically forbade you from operating on him. Does it make you a murderer if you don't operate? What? D does, does it make you responsible for someone's death if, if your very profession dictates- Doctors are supposed to save lives. Yes, and they're also required to respect their patient's wishes. So if there are conditions under which the patient does not want his life to be saved- Malcolm wanted his life to be saved. But I'm not a doctor. I, I'm not I'm not a cop. I'm not God. I am a documentarian and my profession dictates You a person, ain't you? You was born human. Right? He came to you, human to human, looking for a way out. Trying to find a reason not to go through with it, and you turned him away. You held him down in his place. What, what you thought was no, his place I did not for hold your him convenience, down. I did not... for your benefit. And oh no. boy, he... oh boy, did you benefit. No. He was already down. You can't blame me for that. You can't blame me for his reality. His reality? He was trying to change his reality and you could have helped him, but you yeah, didn't. Well, where were you? Huh? Where were you? You were his mother. Wasn't it your job to make sure that he had every opportunity to make something of himself? Wasn't it your job to keep him out of trouble? Don't come at me with this 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 bad parenting. Answer the question. Bullshit. Answer the question. I took care of my what? boy. I took Wasn't care of that your I job? Thought. I took care of my son the best way I knew how.
The only mention he ever made of you was to say that you weren't around. I'll show you. I'll show you exactly where he says it. I'd like to see what kind of parents you would be. Working two jobs with no help. No support from, from nobody. Right here. By joining right the ranks of Watch. FG Cat. I just like the fact of knowing that there's people out there who got your back no matter what. And what about your family? Don't they have your back? Yeah, they got my back, I right. Way, Way back. back. What do you mean? Man, you know what the hell I mean. You know, my mom's at work all the time. I don't got no see? brothers and sisters. See? Did you see that? Man, you know what the hell I mean. You know, my mom's at work all the time. I don't got no brothers and sisters. And your father? Mm -hmm. He ain't nothing. He ain't nobody. He don't even live with us. You can't blame me. You can't blame me. You only have yourself to blame. Maybe if you gave him a life worth living, he wouldn't have made such fucked up choices. You ever think about that? Miss Barnes, wait. Wait. Leslie, Leslie, Leslie. Touch it. Look, I'm, I, I shouldn't have said that, okay? That that was a horrible thing of me to say. I don't want you to leave upset, okay? That That's the last thing that I want. Honestly, can, can you please just come back in and we can sit down, we can try to start over. Can we do that, please? I need to tell you something. Okay. Yeah, okay, you, you can tell me anything you want. Can you, can you please just walk back over? Right, sorry. Yeah, you ain't. What? You about to get a whole lot sorrier. I, I don't... I don't understand. It's a question. I, I was surprised you didn't ask me it. Like, it's, it's an obvious question. Um... Ain't you been wondering why I was saving you? Not really. I think it's a pretty obvious statement. Turning the tables, dose of my own medicine, that, that kind of thing. All right. Put it like this. Why did you choose Malcolm? I chose Malcolm because I thought he would make an interesting subject. Yeah, but why? Because he led a life that was fairly atypical for someone his age. A fucked up life, according to you. I didn't mean that. A life not worth living. The choices he made was fucked up. I already apologized for that. Right. Now answer the question. Because he, he led a life that was eventful. Because you knew some fucked up shit was about to go down. That's why you wanted to film him. And that's why I want to film you. Eventful, interesting, all that is just bullshit for fucked up. If it ain't fucked up, it ain't interesting, right? Isn't that the rule you people go by? The nature of documentary filmmaking? I don't see nobody making no happy ass movies about people living happy ass lives, do you? Shit, the best movies I ever saw was about somebody getting fucked up. Yeah, well, I'd say you fucked me up pretty bad. Or shot. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What are you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell you that unless them new shades you got is bulletproof, your life is about to get a whole lot more interesting the minute I walk up out of here. Did you think I was the only one you pissed off with that little movie you made? No. That little movie that led to the arrest and conviction of three members of that gang, uh, oops, Brotherhood. Stop, you're not... You're making this up. You wish I was making it up. I lost the son. They lost their brothers. We came together out of our anger, out of our mutual hatred for you. And now they just outside waiting, waiting for me to come out there and give them a sign. I wouldn't do that if I was you. 
You do that and I'm out of here. I know the police will get here faster than they got to Malcolm, but I guarantee you a bullet will get here before they did. Isn't that convenient? It's Luis. You want me to tell him you're busy? Hello? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. No, he's not. This is his assistant, Peaches. Uh-huh. Hold on, let me just get a pen. He wants me to take a message. All right, all set. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, those reporters can be downright dirty, just vicious. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right, well, you take care, too. Got it. Okay. Bye-bye. They canceling your show tomorrow. Seems like nobody wants to back a murderer. I can see you upset, but look at it like this. Five minutes ago, this was the biggest problem you had. I don't believe you. Fine. Don't. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I think two years is long enough to wait. Please, don't go, don't go. Please, oh God. You really, you're gonna kill me, you came here. You came here to kill me. Okay, there's nothing, what do you, what can, what do you want me to tell you? You want, you want, you want, you want me to tell you that about that day? Okay, I will tell you about that day. Can I tell you about that day? You're so pathetic. Now it matters to you, right? No, yeah, I, you can't hold it against me for valuing my life. But I can hold it against you that you didn't value Malcolm's. That's why we're doing this, Phil. You made some fucked up choices too, Phil. And you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Since we raising the stakes, and uh, I, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a little bit more from you. Yeah, uh-huh. I think you need to tell me about your life. What? Since you talking about how fucked up my life is, you sitting up here judging me, I think it's only fair that I know about yours. Tell me about your childhood. Okay. Great. Can you please just come sit down? Can you can you can you come sit I'll down? I'll sit please? down when I'm good and ready. And right now I ain't good already. Where were you born? Leslie. Ms. Barnes, you done fucked up your friend status. Ms. Barnes, I, I, I don't know how- Where were you born? Milwaukee. When? Wh when what? When were you born, asshole? When was your birthday? June 10th, 1978. We the same age. I, I don't know. I'm so much older than you. You don't, you don't look it. You're so pathetic. What'd your parents do? I talk and, and you call them off, right? Yes, Phil. Who do I look like? You? Now answer the question. My parents were professors. Do they make a lot of money? They're professors. Don't give me a reason. You, you don't go into academia for the money. I, I never thought about it. Then the answer is yes. If you don't have to think about money, then you got a lot of it. Then yes, yes, they 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 made a lot of money. Enough, anyway. Enough. Hmm. Did they tuck you in, read you stories, bake you cookies, you know, that type of shit? Yeah. Did y'all go on trips together? Yeah, uh, a, a couple times a year, we went away. The only vacation me and Malcolm went on was, um, was to Florida. My daddy's funeral. I guess that's not a vacation, huh? He died at work, loading a truck full of canned beans. I guess he wanted a vacation too, huh? Malcolm was eight, and he didn't want to go, and the only way I could convince him 
was by telling him that Disney World was was close by. It was much better than Disneyland. Another place he never got to go to. Anyway, I told him that we might be able to swing by before we went back home. And he was so good the whole time. He never complained once. Even when he figured out that we wasn't gonna make it to Disney World. He never even brought it up. He was so quiet on the plane ride back home. <sighs> what kind of places did y'all go to? Where did we go? We went to Aruba, um, Boston, Cancun, Venice, Italy, and um, uh, Vancouver, uh, Rome. First time we, we came to New York, we actually got mugged. Really? Yeah. Was he black? What? Was he black? I I don't I don't remember. It's not a trick question, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Figures don't it. Is that a trick question? <laughs> so what happened? I, I told you, we, we were mugged. What happened? Like, was it gunpoint, knife point? What happened? Gun, gunpoint. How old were you? Eight. You must have been scared. Not really, actually. Um, it felt like I was, like I was watching a movie. Is that why you got into making them? You sound like my mom, psychoanalyzing me. Huh, he does some shit. I could have been a professor. Could have been a professor. Malcolm could have been a filmmaker. Safe behind a camera somewhere. I'm ready for you to tell me about that day now. It's just you and me today. Oh, shit. Here's our boy now. He was walking home from school. He went to school? Yeah, yeah, he was going back. <sighs> okay. Ms. Barnes, please, just... Go on. Go on. I was, uh... You know, I'll tell you one good thing about the hood. Strong fucking bodega coffee. None of that fancy bullshit. Now I am ready for anything. Oh, oh man. I, am, I almost missed it. I, I, was, I was putting sugar in my, in my coffee. And um, one minute he, he was walking down the street and I turned away for like five seconds. It literally could not have been longer than that. And Go on, go on. First, um, it looked like he was going to be fine. I thought he was going to be fine. All right. This looks like the moment of truth right here. You stayed in the car. I 
did. Because I thought he'd be fine. I thought they were going to hold back, you know. I thought it was just another routine thing, another jump in for them, you know. And, and that they would know where to draw the line, but... So I kept... I kept rolling. From across the way. Until I... Until I realized. Oh man. Wait, that that's not What the fuck? What the fuck? Shit, they're gonna kill him. They're gonna kill him! Hey! 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 You trying to tell me you didn't know? You didn't tell them he was quitting the game? Tell who what? You didn't know. Know what? They weren't jumping him in. They were taking him out because he was quitting the game. Wait, what? I thought you told him. You, you thought I... You thought I ratted him out to SCK? That's what... That's why you're doing all this, isn't it? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Why did you think I would do that? I didn't know. I assumed. That's a fuck of a thing to assume, Leslie. Watch your tone with me, please. You wrecked my life. You wrecked my life. You violated my privacy. You destroyed my relationship. You robbed me of my fucking livelihood. You came swaggering in here all, all self-righteous, telling me I'm a monster, trying to tear me down, and you don't even have the right information. You don't even have your fucking facts straight. I said watch your tone. Or what? Or what? You gonna, you gonna walk out of here, have those, those, Terrorists take me out? Terrorists? You being a little dramatic, ain't you? No, that's what they are. That's what they are. They're domestic terrorists. Thinking of any reason they can to, to take a life, scaring the shit out of decent people just because they can. And you, you're defending them. I'm not defending them, I'm using them. Oh, then I guess that just makes you the head terrorist bitch in charge, don't it? Finish telling me. No. Tell me. Me. No. Fine. 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 Anybody you want to call before I go? Anybody you want to make final amends to? Nobody. Nothing you feel like you need to apologize for? You ain't sorry for nothing? I'm sorry you're such a crazy bitch. <laughs> how, how am I a bitch? How am I a bitch when I'm trying to give you a gift? You know how many people die without telling the people in their lives what they should have told them, without getting to do half the things they should have done, without getting nothing out of their lives? Oh, you mean like Malcolm? Fuck you! Fuck me! Fuck you! Do you think I'm just gonna let you walk out that door? Shh! Ah! Get the fuck off me! Get, get, get.
Look at you. If you weren't a murderer before, you sure are now. All I wanted was to know what my son's life was like, his last day on earth, and you happy to go to your grave with that, ain't you? And for what? With a little bit of integrity. You need a microscope to find the integrity you got left. I hate you. I hate your fucking guts. So what is it gonna take for you to tell me what I need to know? Whatever it takes for you to forgive me. You want forgiveness? Me too. You sure got a funny fucking way of showing it. What exactly is it you want? You want my forgiveness for? Because you acting like I'm the one that's doing you so wrong. You acting like you the victim up in here. You just tried to choke me out. That, that was self-defense. You're, you're trying to, you want to kill me. And you ain't want to die. Of course not. You know who else didn't want to die? You know who else didn't want to die? My son. He came to you trying to save his life in every way he knew how. And you condemned him to death anyway. And you know what, he didn't even get mad. He didn't get mad, he trusted you. He died trusting you. His death made an artist out of you. You profited from it, you got rewarded from it. And then, and then you treated us like, like, like we was disposable. Like, like, like we was some broke furniture that you could just put out on the curb. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mm. You should just leave. After everything I've done, you should... You're right. <laughs> You're so fucking right. I fed them to the fucking wolves. And now the wolves are snapping at my door. <laughs> I mean... It's total karma. I deserve it. I deserve to die. <laughs> you, you know what would make this perfect? Is if you filmed it. <laughs> I mean, that's. I'll, I'll, um, I'll put up the shades and, and everything. I'll stand right there so you, you can get a good shot, so they can get a good shot. But look at me. Look, listen to me. <laughs> I'm directing my own. <laughs> I deserve it. There's nobody out there, Phil. It's what I deserve. There's nobody out there. I made it up. I had to get you. I had to get you to talk about him, so I lied. I lied. I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. I'm 
You don't deserve to die. You deserve to live. Live with it. Like I live with it. You still see me as art. What? That's what he said. Before he died. Those were his last words. You still see me as art. Really? Hold on to his hand. All I did was, was hold his hand. I said nothing. Yeah. <laughs>